Hi guys, are we up close and personal? Let me back up a little bit. Okay, so I just wanted to be real today. Well, I did put on a little bit more makeup because I thought I'm not gonna be, you know, makes me feel good. But um, yeah, I wanted to do some extra videos this week for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, so fully just like my vibes every day. Um, but with a little more, like I said, with a little more makeup on. But we'll talk about that too. Um, I like to take a shower in the morning and sometimes at night. But in the mo I really like to shower in the morning because I don't like to go to bed with wet hair. And I have always really just, especially when I'm really trying to like take care of my hair. I don't even know how it's parting. I don't know what it's doing. Um, I don't like to dry my hair. I like to let it air dry. It really keeps it healthier but I still load up like the leave-in conditioner or like kind of like that like a creamy product that you'd use like if you were gonna blow dry your hair like a heat protectant I still put that in my hair and I've been putting like an oil because I just I'm like whatever it's gonna look oily it's gonna whatever but it's clean okay so don't be alarmed so that's what I've got going on right now but um but yeah I just I really wanted to kind of just talk about like what has been helping me and what has been like keeping me going and like things that have been helping right because I think that obviously being positive finding things not just finding like well this is important too finding things to pass the time but finding things to like lift your spirits and make you feel good um because honestly what is this I've got like giant I've got clothes like hanging all in my face they're about to come down um honestly there's just you know th listen you, you just got to stay positive and I think we're gonna see that more than anything the value of that especially like you know within a, within our own homes and how we treat each other and things like that so yeah you guys I just I really hope that you're doing well I feel like we're gonna be doing a lot more videos I want to post a lot more because it makes for one it makes me feel good to connect with you guys but it really makes me feel good especially my last video I posted a little early last week and talked about all of this going on and like what I'm doing and just bringing some positivity and it's real you know it's real positivity I just want to really be that for some of you that may not be getting that or may just be like within yourself too much and you know maybe this is something that we could really you know as we all are obviously during this um maybe this could be something that you know we could always look forward to and uh stuff that we could talk about that you know, maybe we don't even have like a legit, like specific topic, but just to come on here and talk, right? And so today, um, got my wet hair, things that I'm watching, listening to, things that I'm enjoying to pass the time, but to not only pass the time, but to make me feel good, to like uplift my spirits, and I think that's what we really need. Yeah, I was thinking about so many things that I wanna talk about during all this, and then a really funny story um, it kind of ties into something else I want to talk about, you know, talk to your friends, on the phone, FaceTime. It's important to be there for people, um, especially people that live alone, you know, just reach out. Anyway, so my friend and I, we were talking and I was kind of telling her about like what I was doing today and I was like, oh my gosh, like I have to share our funny story of spring break, a funny spring break trip because that's something I'm infuriated about all the spring break madness and we'll get there. But this is gonna be kind of a funny video too, hopefully. This story will bring you some joy. And her and I were talking and she was like, wow, like we we have a lot of material. Like me, like there's a lot, of st a lot of funny stories. So even if I'm just coming on here to share a funny story or to talk, but so my point is this week, first of all, it's Monday. I had a video coming up on Wednesday that was kind of planned ahead of time um, and I haven't filmed it yet but I'm, I think it's gonna be really appro appropriate and helpful for this time as well. Um, some beauty stuff, and then on Friday, I've got another really funny idea, not a funny idea, but, oh Lord, y'all, it's gonna be more helpful than ever. It's something that is getting real, that we really kind of, um, that, that we can do at home. Um, things that we can, things that we could do, okay? And I feel like I've been planning, this, not subconscious, what is the word, subconsciously? I don't know. I am, um, people might look and say, oh, she's pretty high maintenance. I'm super low maintenance when it comes to beauty. I do everything myself. Um, if I could inject my own Botox and my stuff, I would. No, I'm kidding. I would not. No, I wouldn't. That's not, that's not a thing. You need to go to a professional for that. 
they're professionals for a reason. But I, that was funny that that worked out where like literally that was like the day I went to get that done, that was that video where I was in my car, was the last day I think I was out of my house. Um, like going anywhere just frivolous or do you know what I'm saying and my friend went with me and we were like oh my gosh like we really got in at the right time because it may be a while you know but there are some things that may turn into big deals that we could do ourselves that we'll talk about so I've got so many fun things coming up this week I don't know I just kind of wanted to talk about things that are getting me through um I have been living in this let me tell you this is I need to wash this so so aware but let me okay people are when I'm listening to podcasts, which I'll get into in a second, or I'm watching something, what has been making me feel good, honestly, and this is why I'm doing this, truly, because this makes me feel good to talk to you guys, so it's good for me, but I just, I know how good I feel when I listen to a podcast I like, or when I see somebody on an Instagram story that I love, and they're talking about, oh, well, you know, here we are, we're doing this, but they're uplifting. I think that I'm curious to see when this is over how everybody's going to kind of react to the mundane like, oh, I'm going here, and which I, I mean, my gosh, like, it's such a blessing, like, to be able to go to a coffee store, to go to the grocery store, to go to a restaurant, or to go to these places that we just took for granted, you know, and I just don't think people are going to be down for much complaining and much negativity after this. I think that we have our own, like, you know, gosh, I'm, I'm t you know, I'm worn out from whatever I'm doing around the house, or I'm over this, or I'm over that, or whatever, because it is a different time right now, but I'm just saying I don't think it's going to be widely appreciated or like looked at quite the same way with the same humor when we kind of come back to just mundane com just complaining about things that I feel like we took for granted. So I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear people talking about scary stuff or it's not helping. We are all thinking these things, right? We all know what's going on, but it there is something so great about smiling and something so great about seeing someone else that's in it too that's also being positive and that it's not fake positivity it's just gives you some hope do you know what I mean and um and I really do think we have so much to be like hopeful for I really do gr greatly believe that it's everything's going to be fine but it's going to be really hard and different for a while and it's going to impact all of us in different ways, but we can all be happy and we can all be positive, hopefully. I always hear people on podcasts, that's my point, complaining, oh my gosh, I'm in sweatpants, I'm in this, I'm in that, and I feel bad. And I'm like, Brad and I do work from home. I'm down with wearing sweatpants all the time anyways. That's pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not getting dressed up to go to work for every day, but I'm also very into doing things daily that make me feel good. I wanna do these things for myself. Put on a little, you know, if you wanna wear just a little bit of makeup that takes no time, if you want. And um, we'll talk about that in those upcoming videos too this week. Like I said, I'll be back in a few days and then I'll be back two more times this week. So we're, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. But um, you know, do things that make you feel good. Normally I do dress very comfortable and I have really good leggings that I like to wear. I've been living in comfy leggings. Okay, I've gotta tell you about this. So. Y'all know, I've been talking about Barefoot Dreams for years. There's something about, like, my robe, my Barefoot Dreams robe is just amazing. But if I put that robe on all day, I would feel a little, okay? And this is how I've always been anyways. Like, I, I wear it in the morning while I'm getting ready, and then I get dressed. This is like a Barefoot Dreams robe that you can wear all the time and then not feel frumpy. It's just a cardigan. And this is the best cardigan that they have. I actually was just talking to my friend about this this morning too. Um, I have so many different ones. I probably have all the different ones that they have and I wear them all, but this one is the one that truly feels, it's light. Some of them feel very dense and heavy and very like um, not as fluffy. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? If you're into Barefoot Dreams, there's a difference between some of the different ones. This one though is just extra fluffy. It's just like the blankets. And it feels light, it's not super heavy, but it's kind of big and it's just cozy. And I feel like this is my robe that I wear, that I could wear all the time, but I can get away, you know, it just, it makes me feel good. And even, like it's been hot outside, I wear a t-shirt, I wear like a tank or a camisole or something. And um, especially in the summertime, like with the AC and stuff, I love to wear, 
I just, I, I like to wear sweatshirts in the house or whatever, and this is just such a good one. So, I love that, and they're 25% off right now, which is crazy. So, um, you could probably get a good deal on this if you want one. So, I will link to the exact one, because they do have a ton of different cardigans. This is the exact, like I said, I've had most of them, and this is just the best. This is the best one. Like, we did a puzzle the other day, and it was so much fun. Like, I know that sounds silly. You see everybody doing puzzles and do this and that. But it was kind of fun because I feel like in our normal day-to-day, -day, like, we don't, like, bust out, like, a lot of puzzles or we're not doing all this stuff. My kid has gotten really good at Mario Kart. Um, been doing a lot of that together. A lot, oh, my gosh, so many board games, so many things. Um, like I said, like, cooking, but just cooking very simple things. We, you know, I don't understand, like, all of these, like, videos of people making all of these really elaborate meals and stuff. Like, I'm really trying to conserve what we have, like, and... Of course, you know, we can go to the store we need to, but I don't want to be blowing through everything, spending so much money on a ton of groceries, like, when we can just be making really simple things that, like, last. And, you know, it has been kind of refreshing, like, cooking at home, and honestly, like, we've been at home, like, snacking and eating, but I feel like I've honestly gotten a little slimmer just in a couple weeks, just noticing that we're not going through fast food all the time. We're not getting a ton of, like, take out and that really makes a huge difference <laughs> i've been buying these so well not been buying like when this we always have tuna i love tuna first of all these are really good the ones that are like you don't have to put mayonnaise in them they're just already ready and they even have a little spork on top this is one that i that i, that I ate that i saved a little thing too but um so i don't know i may come out of this with a mercury issue but um but i've been eating a lot of tuna i've been drinking a lot of water just trying to i don't know you know what i mean doing the best we can but I mean it hasn't been that difficult as far as like eating because we've just been eating very like simple stuff loving my podcast even more lately um I, you guys pretty much know what I like to listen to but I really have been enjoying watch what crappens it's probably it's like one of my favorites it's like the two guys that recap all of the bravo shows and again I watch all of the bravo shows all of the housewives in New York cannot start soon enough. I think they should have like started it this week. I wish they would have. Um, but that's starting very soon. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited about all those. And I can rewatch like old seasons of that. That is really fun. I'm watching The Holiday a lot. That is my go-to movie like at night or just whenever I don't have anything to watch, I'll put on The Holiday. Like I love that movie. That movie is so cozy and beautiful and just good in every way. Watch the holiday. So whenever I suggest that, people think I'm talking about the Queen Latifah movie. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, I think that's called The Last Holiday. I'm talking about the movie called The Holiday with Cameron Diaz and Kate Winslet and Jude, Jude Law? Yeah, that's what you need to watch. And Jack Black. It's the best movie. It's so good. Um, so yeah, that I could just watch a million times. So many good movies. Watch What Crappens is so good. I also really love Bitch Sesh, which is kind of the same thing, but it's um, it's two women that are talking about, like, they're recapping shows and um, just talking. I don't know. I like them. I fell out of watching or listening to them for a while, and I don't, I don't know. I really missed it, and I when I came back to listening to them, I was like, why did I ever stop? I really do enjoy them, and... Um, of course, I love true. I love true crime stuff. Um, anything up and vanished is good. Let me look through. Juicy Scoop is probably like my number one. Like I always have to listen to Juicy Scoop. I really love Heather. What else? Oh my gosh, I started listening to the Dating Game Killer. It's so infuriating. I mean, so first when you listen to it, you're like, oh, this is interesting. I despised how they did that podcast. I did not like it. I don't want to say they were glorifying anything. Whatever, I don't know. It was just so sickening the way that they... They didn't just narrate and talk about what had happened. I know when you listen to a lot of these true crime pod podcasts, it gets... Sometimes it's uncomfortable and stuff. But this was like... They would talk like they were in his perspective. Oh, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. That. This is what, and the way that they describe, I just wanted to punch everyone in the face. No, I'm kidding. And honestly, the whole time I was like, enough of this guy. I am so done with this guy. This guy sucks. Like I was so infuriated. So maybe you don't need to listen to that. Dude, don't listen to that one. That was awful. The dating game killer was the worst podcast I've ever heard in my life. Counterclock. I always talk about this one. I talked about this one a long time ago. 
it was a podcast that I listened to a couple, like a year, a couple years ago, and then I suggested it to you guys, and then no one could find it. And I was like, why can no one find this? Like, it's on mine. I found it. But what happened was they had removed it, and they re-released it under like the crime junkie name podcast I guess bought this podcast and they're releasing it as though it's like they're doing it and it's new and I've heard all the episodes now some things I remember or I noticed were a little different toward the end and even some of the first episodes I feel they had changed a little bit but it was the same thing you know so, I don't know, I think, so Crime Junkie's like taking credit for it, I guess, but whatever. It's I like the girl, I like the narrator, the Delia girl, that's kind of the one that's done all the work, pretty much. But, this last week's was very interesting, because I had listened to the entirety of the first, you know, thing. And then they had gotten to the point where I had heard all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? And then um, maybe maybe not like a few of the last episodes. Well, then this last week was something totally different. Like they've had a totally new development and it's like huge. I hope it'll be huge, but it was very interesting to listen to this week. Oh, this is a good one. I just started listening to this. Your Own Backyard is a very good one. And I really do think something is going to come of that. So Your Own Backyard is a good one. And I really have enjoyed watching Bravo and stuff. I, oh my gosh, I just saw yesterday that Andy Cohen has the coronavirus, which is very, um, it's sad. But we just have to take care of ourselves. You know, we just have to do the best that we can. Like I said in the last video, focus on what's going on in your home. Be happy and positive for your family. You know, build up your significant others. Be happy for your children. You know, and that has been so good. Having a child, especially, like, it is sad sometimes to think like oh my gosh like she's not getting to do these things right now or that or whatever but um it sure is nice to do a lot of fun things at home and to be like doing things together and to know that you're their gauge of how they see the world and so be the best it's be happy for them and positive you know and i think that'll help you as well just make making good decisions and you know i just okay when you hear people venting about all this listen i know i said like let's try not to complain let's try let's just try okay freaking spring breakers like oh my god spring breakers like let me tell you like i've had an issue with kids on spring break for years i don't understand it i was never allowed to go on spring break as a teenager and it probably pissed me off the time but i understand it now i understand it i understood it i think the most the first, I don't know, when I was like, my friend and I took a trip. We were like, she was 22, I think I was like 24. And um, I want to tell you the story of that trip because it has to do with this. Like, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about for the video, and I was like, gosh, what is bothering the, the spring break thing has been bothering me. You see all these kids partying, and all you think, yeah, they might be complete morons. They may not get it. Why don't they get it? Where are the adults? What? It allergies okay don't worry um where are the effing parents where are the parents okay where are they I'll tell you where they are because I witnessed it myself they're at these resorts um which anyone that even owns a business that would allow this is like you should be slapped in the face the parents are at the resorts checking in the underage kids so that they can party all week and paying for their good time and I'm like do you you're the most clueless parent on earth and it's like you gotta know what's going on like no. You know what I mean? They're, these kids aren't even old enough to rent hotel rooms. Their parents are having to do it for That is the problem. Like, are we that dumb, first of all, spring break all the time anyways? Um, but especially now, are you insane? All of these kids partying in Florida and literally, I'm gonna put my feet up, and literally like, they're gonna go home to what? They're gonna go home to their parents who are older that could probably have, you know, that could have any host of, like, immune deficiencies or diabetes or any exist or conditions, whatever. Um, a lot of them have, sorry, there's like a fuzz. A lot of them have grandparents that live with them. What are these kids just not going to see their grandparents? Are they going to come home and then pretend like, oh, well, on vacation it's different, but when we come home, we're coming home to, like, homes that are quarantined. That is a, it's not just a little group of kids. It is a lot of kids doing these things. The parents should be so ashamed of themselves. You know where your children are. And yes, they're children. They're freaking morons, first of all. If someone is even making the decision to go do that right now, I don't care how old you are, you need an adult. You, you need someone else telling you what to do because you obviously are not clear on that. But I'm just shocked 
that it, this is still a thing. I'm shocked that spring break is still, like, as stupid as it is. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just so dumb. My, and, and, I, and so that brought me back to my friend and I watching the parents, like, checking them in. Sorry, I, Olivia just, I heard her, like, I heard a loud crash, and then she started crying. I was like, oh my god, she's downstairs with Brad, but she was, like, jumping from something into something, and I've said this for the last week. I'm like, please, especially now, like, just... I, I, I tell them, I'm like, please, just nobody get hurt, okay? Because the last place I want to go right now is the hospital. Like, we just need to, like... Sorry, just shaking the camera around and putting my feet up. Okay. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, so anyways, um... So my friend and I... My friend and I, this is a funny story. Okay, so... I get it. Like, this probably be a long video, but what the hell else do we have to do? Okay, we're gonna just... Here we are. Um... Okay, so my friend and I... I was graduated. I was married um, at the time. I think I was 24 or 25. She was um, like graduated from college. You know what I mean? That's what I, that's what I mean. She was still in college at Valdosta. She was like in her very last years. Like she was in like her last little tail end of like getting just her last credits or whatever, last few classes. I think she was taking just like one or two day a week classes just to finish two classes. She had like a job and a house there. And you know, she wasn't like in a, it wasn't like a, you know, college, like, you know what I'm saying? Like she was a little older college and she was more like, I'll say like more of an adult, but she had, you know, she had her house, she had a house down there, whatever. And um, this was like my childhood best friend. Like we're still best friends. And I was like, okay, I'll come down and see you one weekend. You now she would come up every now and then. She was planning on moving back up after graduation. It was, we were like, okay, this is her last year down here. I'm gonna drive down because I'd never seen that house that she was living in. And I was like, I'll stay with you for a couple days and we'll just have a girl's weekend. So I drove down to Valdosta to visit her. And of course, like school was still in, like Valdosta, whatever, it was still going on. And we go down there, you know, had dinner that night and then we were like let's go to the beach because it's not too far from like Panama City, Destin, all that. Um, especially Panama City. So we were like let's just go down to Panama City. We're really familiar with that area. Like we'll find a there's nice places that you can stay there and just whatever. It's not like we were like whatever we'll just go down there we'll find a place to stay um, and go to the beach for a few days. That would be so fun. Okay. So um, we drive down there. I realized kind of quickly okay something's off like uh, there was a lot of people down there first of all I hear people like moving I feel like I hear people like going to this area that have never experienced I've been going like of course I've been going there like my whole life right now 30A is the big thing like that was like the sleepy little secret right everybody for years that was like oh yeah you know just a really nice little town or towns all along their seaside and um you know Rosemary Beach and all these places and we've you know been going to these places for years before it became, I think Instagram kind of ruined it. And it was like, well, I remember maybe like six years ago, we went down there. This was when it was really getting, maybe five or six years ago. It's always been popular, but in a different way than like Panama City and Destin were popular. If you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean. But um, just be absolutely beautiful places. But I remember we were in Panama City at the condo one year and we went and there was a store that said 30A and I was like, I was like, what? And it was literally like, oh gosh, they're branding this area. Like, this is becoming a cool place to be, you know, which, like, the 38 hold scene is, like, and everywhere we are now, everyone has a sticker on their car. It's just, it's a thing. And I recently talked to someone who knew somebody that was moving down there. Like, they just bought a house. They've never been down there much before. And they think, oh my, they went, I think, like, very off time fell in love with the whole 38 area and it was like ah and I'm like oh no like it shuts like it is very very crazy certain times of year and where you can't even get into the restaurants it is not so sleepy it's beautiful but it's a place that's a little it can be tricky now okay so that's just all I'm gonna say about that but what's in so yeah okay whatever listen so my friend and I were not looking to spend a fortune we weren't like trying to like we just wanted to find somewhere to stay so we go down there we realize hmm this is like there's a lot of people down here right now we went to pineapple willies to eat um I called a few places that I knew see if we could stay there but we're in both condos we called a hotel that we knew of and it was like, you know, call back in a little bit. We'll see if anybody, like, checks out. Or it was kind of like a situation like that. Why did we stay there? We went to Pineapple Willie's, okay? And we started having pina coladas. We went parasailing. 
only time I've ever been parasailing in my life. Like, it was not a great decision. <laughs> and they, were, they, I think the hotel was like, at this time, we're going to have availability, like, call back at this time. So we were just like, sure, great. Um, and the hotel was like really, literally like right next to the restaurant. Well, so at that point, it was like, no, we actually don't have anything. Um, we were kind of freaking out. We ended up getting a room at this hotel that I stayed at a lot when I was a kid and stuff, and it's nice, but it is very, it turns into a different world at spring break. And long story short, that's what had happened. We had hit it on, I think, the very last weekend of high school spring break, which was terrifying. It was utterly terrifying. It was the worst experience of my life. Nothing fun about it. Like, you could not even walk on the beach without someone trying, oh, do you have anything to drink? Do you have any this? Do you have any that? And I'm like, no. Like, uh, do I need to call your parents? So we were just kind of like, what is happening? Like, we, we felt so weird being there. And I think back, like, wow, we were so young, but I, we might as well have been, like, 60 years old. Like, it was awful. It was not even a thing of, like, oh, just loosen up and have fun. It was a freaking nightmare. So in our hotel, we go in, and at the checkout, it's just tons of parents and tons of, like, kids that are dressed literally like strippers. And, which, no offense, but I'm just saying, it was like, what are these parents doing? They were checking their kids into the rooms and then leaving. And all this, sh so much crap was going on. We finally, we get our room and it was like, we walked out to the balcony and there were so many people out on the balcony and I was like, oh my God, the second that we walked back into the room, our phones started ringing, people started pounding on our door. And I'm like, what is happening? This is not real life. Like, this is not good. Let's just get the hell out of here. So we got dressed real quick and we disconnect, we had, our, we had disconnected our phone, got dressed real quick. Um, the place was so loud. I was like, you know, it'll, it'll calm down, right? I don't know why we didn't just leave on the spot. I think we were just so desperate to have a place to stay. So we, like, got out of the room, and I was like, I don't even want to go outside. Like, I don't even want to open the door. There were so many kids running around, so terrified. Like, it's just terrifying the way that they were acting. They were acting like complete morons. Like, I'm all for having a good time. I'm all for doing things. But it was so, it was just the grossest, dirtiest, like, bleh. And I literally blame the parents. Like, I'm sorry, I just do. Sorry. So we got down the elevator. I think we ended up having to take the stairs because the elevators were just so, just like, I don't even know how the place is still standing every year after spring break. It was it was a nightmare. We, um, I think we went to like Margaritaville or something to have dinner. And we were just like, I don't want to go back. Like, I do not want to go back there. Like, I'm terrified. Had fun at dinner. Like, it was fun because it was like a girl's trip. We wanted to like enjoy ourselves, but we felt like we were gonna get assaulted, <laughs> like, everywhere. It was awful, okay, it was awful. I just don't understand it. So, we went back, and, um, I mean, it was a nightmare getting back up to the room with all of the madness going on. And we literally just were like, I think we went, did we go to, did we even go to the beach while we were there? I don't even think, because we went to bed that night, and we were literally, like, in our own beds, like, in the fetal position, and all we could hear was like, doom, 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 and people screaming, and people yelling. And we heard just like, oh my god, the cra people saying the craziest things, which this uh, I can't even repeat on here because it it's like too much. Like I told my, I was like, are you awake? And she was like, yes, are you awake? And I was like, I'm scared. And we were like, we have to get that out of here. Like we have to get out of here. So we literally, like, I think, did we get up that night? I think we literally like left in the middle of the night or like wee hours of the morning. And don't even think we had it. We did not get a wink of sleep. We um, did not. We did not survive high school spring break. Okay. Went downstairs, and when I went to the lady at the lobby, I was like, "I want all my money back. This is ridiculous. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Like, what the hell kind of place is this? Like, what kind of place are you running?" And she was like, "I know. Just take it." Like, she just gave me my money back, and I'm like, "This poor woman." And then we left, and we were standing out waiting on our car or no, I was waiting on my friend. I was like, wait, they, they didn't have valet at this place. What were we doing? I was waiting on my friend. Um, is that what we, yeah, that's right. So I was standing on the curb with her and, um, did we get the car? Why were we both standing there together? Anyways, this like security guy came and he's like, he's like, don't stand here. He's like, if you're waiting on your parents, you have to go back there. And he was being so rude to us. And I was like, first of all, sir, sit down, like step back. I was like, don't speak to me that way. Second of all, not waiting on my parents, very much not waiting on my parents. Third of all, like 
calm your tone, you know what I mean? And, um, and I was like, I don't, I mean, this is not I looked at him, I was like, this is a nightmare. Like, what are you, like, this is a nightmare. Like, how are you doing this? And he was like, oh, I love it. This is great. And I think he was just so like, okay, this is my life. I'm just going to make the best of it. He was like, this is great. What are you talking about? This is great. And I was like, okay, like, enjoy yourself. Got, so we got all the money back. That was wonderful. I remember this woman came up to us and I could tell, like, you know, she was wanting food. Like, she was, we had, like, no cash on this trip. Um, but she came up to me. She's like, I really want to go in and have lunch like and I was like I don't have any cash like we literally had like five dollars I mean, we gave whatever we had I was like and then she just kept leaning in like well what else you got in there and I was like um and I was I, I remember saying like I think we had oh because we <laughs> this is how like granny we were too we brought apples from my friend's house because she had just been grocery shopping because we went grocery shopping like for the weekend that I was going to be there so we brought the food with us to the beach right makes sense and um I was like we have all this do you want it and I remember she looked at us like we had literally slapped her in the face she was like I don't want your produce I don't like she was like I don't want your food like she was so mad because we just didn't have money to give her but I just always think about that and I'm like Jesus I'm tried but it was just such a weird trip and I think she took all of our food anyway that was the thing we left out that was the pro that was the end of the thing is that we left out of there she had taken all of our food we had no cash and she was still like real pissed with us when we left. Like she was still not happy about it. We were rolling out of there just like never again. That's my spring break story, okay? Was it that entertaining? I don't know, but it was just it's a funny story for me and my friend to talk about. We always like maybe it was one of those like you had to have been there kind of things. But I will say this whole spring break thing, oh god, please make it stop. Like oh my god. With this virus or not, like parents just make this crap. I mean, just make it stop. Like what are you even doing? Okay, they're gonna have plenty of time to do that when they go to college, and hopefully they'll be a little more mature, and they won't need you to sign off on a hotel room. You know what I mean? Um, or maybe just like have them pay for it themselves. I mean, like that's the thing. Like, stop paying for this stuff for your. Like, if they don't have the money to go to, that was always my thing. I'm like, my parents aren't gonna pay for me to go to some like, you know, like off, you know. But I couldn't afford it. So it's like I'm not going. I hope that I kept you company a little bit today and um, that you enjoyed the video and like this will pass. It will be different when it does. I don't think it's anything that we need to have all of these. I can really get deep and think worst case scenario about a lot of things. Let's not do that because think back to every time you've ever had a bad situation or things that you worry about all the time that just do not happen, none of us thought this would happen. Let's trust in our own good decisions. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's stay the, stay at home. And um, it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be an overnight thing, but let's just let this play out. It will pass and we're gonna have to probably do things a lot differently afterwards so things are probably going to function a little different for a while things are going to be it's going to be different but you know we've got through things before we will get through this and you know I just trust in God and trust in you know the people that we love to take care of us and let's take care of each other um, but stay away from each other, just stay within your homes, and I think that we're going to be okay. Like I said, let's be positive, let's just stay healthy, stay safe, and, um, I will be back with a couple more videos this week, you guys, hopefully to, um, to make things a little easier, and, um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video, so I'll talk to you guys very soon, love y'all so much, stay healthy, stay safe, and just keep being positive, and do things that you enjoy at home. So, love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.